Shalom and welcome to another installment of uh, Elders of GMS, giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, today's topic is going to be entitled News and Current Events, uh, dated uh, 12, uh, 14, uh, 13, or, or December, thir- December 14th, uh, 2013. Uh, basically, uh, a couple of days ago on Fox News, uh, there's this uh, chick on there uh, named uh, Meg, Megan Kelly and she had take o- taken over the show that uh, the, 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 the um, what do you call it the uh, the slot the 9 o'clock 9 p.m. slot on a, uh, f- the Fox Cable News Network I, I think it's called and um, Sean Hannity used to have that that slot 9 o'clock slot and he had he was pushed to the 10 o'clock sh- shot uh, a slot excuse me which means he's out of there he's also i'm talking about uh uh, this guy um sean hannity he's also about to lose his radio show to a man by the name of mike uh, savage um on his radio show on his drive home show which is like from three to six so basically you know people them crackers that follow him them archie archie bunker types uh, I guess uh, tired of his bullshit, but then you got pretty much a f- the female version of a uh, uh, Sean Hannity, uh, Megan Kelly. Uh, she's she was a lawyer, but um, <laughs> that woman, he, she ain't the the uh, elevator doesn't go all the way up to the to the top floor with her, you know. Um, and now there's a backlash because she basically there was this black this black woman that said that or somebody had said that uh Santa Claus should be a penguin cuz penguins are basically black and white right and 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 well I'm going to show you the, the video but basically she's defending the fact that Santa Claus is white and then she goes and then she's stupid enough to open up that pie hole and say that even Jesus is white <coughs> anybody that watches um Fox cable news other than for laughs there's something wrong with you people, man. And basically what's happening is, you know, you white people have for years have portrayed Santa Claus as being a white man. You have portrayed for years in the churches that Jesus Christ is white. Anytime you make a movie on the scriptures, um, you're always dealing with Christ. Uh, I'm, I'm using the word Christ so you can understand it. His real name is Yahweh Shai. But anyway, you have the disciples, you have the, 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 the Messiah as a white man looking like a hippie or looking like Charles Manson, and you have the disciples looking like, or, or you have white, white men portraying the, 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 the uh, disciples and so forth. And then you have the, uh, the, um, the high priests and the uh, scribes and the Pharisees and the other characters, including Mary, including Joseph, and all the characters going back to the scriptures or the four gospels anytime you make a movie you always have white actors playing these key roles and then you, and recently you 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 have put in into these recent movies you might throw a little a black guy in the background somewhere all right so so i mean you you devils you edomites um you you're so saturated with these lies that you actually believe these lies. You got something? This is the book of 1 Maccabees chapter 3 verse 48. And laid open the book of the law wherein the heathen had sought to paint the likeness of their images. Plain and simple. So that goes back as far back as uh, the time of the uh, Greeks uh, during the time of uh, Antiochus uh, uh, Epiphanes. All right, go ahead. This is uh, Second Maccabees fifteen and ten. And when he had stirred up their minds, he gave them their charge, showing them therewithal the falsehood of the heathen and the breach of oaths. Yeah, because you changed everything up. You switched everything around. Got some? I got a precept for you. Uh, this is uh, the book of John eight and forty four. Now, when the Lord, uh, his real name is Yahushua. But the man who y- y'all call Christ, when he was making this statement, he was actually he was actually speaking 
to other Israelites, other wicked so-called Negroes, but it was pertaining to the so-called white man. Okay? This is it's, uh, John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. In other words, that's one scripture where Yahweh Shai called the white man the devil. Okay? That's a scripture proving that people say, show me where it says the white man is the devil. In the but This is it. The Lord was speaking to them wicked Israelites back then, them wicked Jews that was coming against them, which were so-called black men, which he was himself was a so-called black man, and I say so-called black man, so you can understand. They were so-called black men. They were men of color, so you can understand. So he, so he was telling them wicked niggas that, look, your father is the damn white man because you're doing the bidding of him, which is the devil. Ye are of your father, the devil. That was talking about the so-called white man, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. And that proved that it was talking about the so-called white man because that goes back to Cain. Now Cain, in, in retrospect, was the first actual so-called white man on the planet because after he killed his brother Abel, the Most High plagued him with a curse of leprosy. And what did he do? Took away his pigmentation. Because Cain... In the beginning, himself was a so-called black. He started out as a so-called black man, a man of color, but the most hot plagued him with leprosy, took his pigmentation away, which in turn made him into a so-called white man. Okay? That was Cain. So Cain was the first so-called white man. But that spirit that was in Cain when Cain died was reincarnated back into the earth as a man called Esau, which Esau was also the actual first so-called Edomite or a white man on the planet that brought forth the nation of Esau, which is you so-called white people, right? So that proved that Cain, in actuality, Cain uh, was, or uh, Esau was Cain. That scripture also proves that, because the Yahweh Shabbat was referring to Cain, which Cain is Esau, man, reincarnated. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth. Yeah, because Cain... He killed his brother. Why? Because he went and murdered his brother out of jealousy and wickedness, man. So when you go and do something like that, you ain't dealing with truth. You're dealing with wickedness. All right? Abode <laughs> not in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, now this whole time, Yahweh Shah is talking about the so-called white man. Yeah. He's talking about Esau. <laughs> There's no truth in him. Yep. And yet the Bible, the Bible is a book of truth. The word holy means true. So how the hell could the white man write the Bible? <laughs> the Lord just said there's no truth in him. And the Bible is a book of truth. So how could we get the Bible from the so-called white man? That's right, polite. There is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. All right? Now, going back to what Elder Tahar was saying, that's why they trying to uphold this lie about the Lord Jesus, uh, the, the the man who they call Jesus Christ or the Lord, his real name being Yahweh Shai, but we say that for you dumb brains out there can know who we talking about. <laughs> yeah, dumb brains out there. Uh, you white people, you want to uphold this lie of the Lord being a so-called white man. Now, the brother brought it to my attention last night. I believe it was one of the brothers in the camp. He, they got a new movie coming out that's going to be coming out about the so-called Christ with some new cracker, hippie-looking... Well, yeah, they always got to do it. Well, I believe the guy that's playing him is actually a Jake. Oh, yeah. But he looked like a cracker. That's right. It, that's, that's another thing. Um, when they came out with the movie, uh, Mel Gibson came out with the movie uh, The Passion of the Christ, he had a Caviezel. What's his name? John Caviezel. What, what, what the boy named John Caviezel? Jim Caviezel, that's his name. And he... <laughs> what that boy name? Uh, yeah, Jim Caviezel. All right, uh, he's actually an Israelite. He's a Jake. Yeah, yeah. He's a Sicilian. All right. So basically, the recent movies that they made about the Messiah are actually Israelites that look like Edomites. That look like crackers. So you can understand. All right, because we're taking over, man. Israel is so strong that we even look. You got Israelites that look just like Edomites, man. A lot of you unlearned morons don't want to accept, you know. You guys like a 14th Street clown, you know. You don't want to accept. Well, 
were just talking about <laughs> Nick Nolte, yeah. and we were looking at pictures of Nick Nolte, yeah, and he yeah. might just be a, don't quote me on it, but he might just be a Jake. Yeah. yeah. He might be a Jake, okay? Yeah. yeah. You guys refuse to accept that. Yeah, because uh, they're not spiritual. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Um, I got a scripture. Uh, this is the book of Job 13 and 4. It says, Ye are forgers of lies. <laughs> Ye are all physicians of no value. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the, that's you so-called white people, and then um, Jake too. and and Jake, yep. yep. Yeah, because polite, hey polite, I got a video on polite. Hey polite, you you ain't <laughs> looking too good now these days, man. You know, <laughs> I got a video of polite that he actually's teaching that. You know how you hang out with somebody and you go to clubs and you drink and you do this and do that, and all of a sudden you get with the guy, and he said, I don't want to go to the club no more. I don't, I don't do that. I don't drink no more. He said that that means you were abducted into a ship and the angels reprogrammed you. Now, Polite said that he was abducted into a ship and the angels reprogrammed him. And when we came back down, he was able to speak seven languages. All right. Now, I can show the video or I don't have to show the video. But if anybody's saying that I'm lying, as soon as you come up, pop up and say it, I got I got the video. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Check polite. out the video. Yeah, well, well, in that case, polite, you're a forger of lies, yes. <laughs> and then you're a physician of no value. Well, his master teacher, and he got mad at the debate. Yeah. By the way, you got you got trounced. You, you got, got cream, is that a man. word? You got you got stomped, man. You got cream. By the you got served by the by the brother, of the, the ISUP Tozaya. Uh, now he's a general. They, you know, he got raised up. He was a priest. Now he's a general, General Tazaria, whatever his name is. But anyway, he um, he 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 stomped you, man. He he completely destroyed you, man. Yeah. He got you, man. You you guys coming up with that black consciousness bullshit, man. You should have never messed with the Israelites, man. <laughs> you know? Hey, because guess what? We're not we're not uh, uh, buddies with them guys. But guess what? They're Israelites. Yep. So who do you think we're going to root for? <laughs> we're going to root for them. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Even though we don't see the eye to eye, they're that's still right. Israelites, man. That's right. Now, this guy that's taking on uh, uh, Sarah, Sue, and Betty, we're rooting for him. Because right. he knows he's an Israelite, man. That's right. You know? Yeah, Israel is coming up, man. Coming that up, black man. conscience shit died with the 70s, man. <laughs> <laughs> the black consciousness should have went out with bell bottoms, Yeah, man. with bell bottoms. And dashikis, man. Platform shoes. That shit comes up every 30 years, man. Yeah, big yeah, My mom was, was all into that shit, yeah, wearing yeah, the dashikis and shit. Yeah, yeah. You know, you were wearing a three-piece suit and looking like a white woman and shit. Yeah. And when I was a kid, my, my, my parents, man, they had the, 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 the dashikis and the black fists yeah. and the big afros and shit, man. Yeah, you know. Well, they show, and then when the shit plays yeah. out, you go right back to being a black white white person. Cut. And just like Cut. uh, uh what's it, what's a gadite in the movies? They call him the black white man. Uh, Chief Dan George. Yeah. Right, right. In the Chief in Dan the movie George. in um little, big, little man. big man, the white black man. He said he called him the white black man. Now you know what he meant by that when he said that in the movie. I picked up on it. He said basically he said. Black people, but they're really white because they think and act like white people. That's right. So what do you call them? The black white, the, the white, black white man, the black white man, because yeah, the they're black, black on the outside and white on the inside. Yeah. They think and act like white people. Yeah, that's right. In that movie, uh, uh, in the in, the movie, the Inkwell, b pretty much they showed you that that black conscious sh shit. There was a yeah, there was a dialogue between uh, what was it, Glenn Turnman was it, and uh, I forgot the other guy. Yeah. Yeah, if we find the clip, we'll. Yeah, he's that nigga. <laughs> if we find the clip, we'll 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 put it in. But they had that dialogue, and basically he was he was cutting him about that African shit. You know, the guy had the dashiki, and that's one thing about you niggas. You wear the dashiki and all that bullshit. Why don't you take your ass back to Africa, man? If you're well, so hardcore, that's a big question. Yeah. Why don't you take your ass back? If you're really so into being an African, why don't you take your ass back to Africa? Oh, yep. and um. I was watching Richard Pryor on this documentary, and one of them uh, shows he did, he had went to Africa because I think I don't know if he got burnt up or his his career was kind of uh, right. You're right. You're right on that. that but anyway, that some producer, somebody told him to go take a trip back to Africa to so to, to so called get in touch with their with his roots. Right? 
No, the motherland. Now, when he went out there, he said some demon was talking to him, man. Wow. And he called it his conscience. He said, look at all these people out here. I said, yeah, I see him. And the, and the demon said, do you see any niggas? He said, no. He didn't even know what the hell he was saying. Right. He said, you know why? He, and the demon said, which is his conscience, the demon said, uh, you know why you don't see no niggas? Because they ain't, they ain't nothing out here, man. Yeah. So he was telling them in a roundabout way that these Hamites, these Hamites are not your people. Like they made a big deal with this guy, Nelson Mandela, right? Now I'm looking, I'm putting, now if you go to YouTube and you put in, you don't got to go to it. If you put in Nelson Mandela dancing, that ain't no Jake, man. That's some weird looking cracker with dark skin, man. That dude had one step, man. And then if you go to a note on the, this guy, uh, Barack Obama, you put it, put him in there dancing. Put his put his wife in there dancing. She danced like the nigga woman. Put him in there dancing. I don't know what kind of fucking dance uh, 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 Barack Obama was doing, man. But Jake can't see that, man. Jake can't see that. You know? Anyway, we're going to get to that clip in about another second, all right? Oh, I, had to, I wanted to say something concerning jo, uh, Job 13 and 4. I looked up that word, um, forges. In the Hebrew word, there's uh, tapal. And it says, um, it says to smear, plaster over, mm. stick, glue. Now, what caught, caught my eye is that plaster over. Wow. Wow. That says a lot. That speaks volumes because... That's what that that's what iconoclasm was all about. But now if you notice, all these black consciousness guys, they're not trying to get to the masses of black people. They're not going to black churches and all that. Their their target is on Hebrew Israelites. Why is that? Because that's the strongest foundation of all so called religions. So they figure let's go to the very core, let's go to the base, let's go to the root. And you know what? You coming up against us, and you walk, you walking back with your tail between your legs. Yeah, that's right. You know, and we're gonna have, we're gonna do, we're gonna do more shows on this black consciousness movement. You know, uh, this is uh, Job nine and twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked; he covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Okay, so with that, we're gonna do this clip. So. Just bring it, bring it on, bring it on in. Yeah, bring it, bring it back, bring it back. I'm just gonna bring it back. Okay, bring it in now. See if this is gonna come up. All right, there you go, there you go. Kelly stepped into something of a holiday hornet's nest after insisting the two were just that, white men. Kelly was reacting to a piece in Slate.com by Aisha Harris who made the case that Santa should not be a white man anymore. Writing from here on out, Santa Claus should be a penguin. That's right, a penguin. Why, you ask? For one thing, making Santa Claus an animal rather than an old white male could spare millions of non-white kids the insecurity and shame that I remember from childhood, unquote. Here's Kelly's response. When I saw this headline, I kind of laughed and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming it's racist to have a white Santa. You know, and by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, yeah. Jesus was a white man too, but you, you know, it's like we have, he was a historical figure. I mean, that's a verifiable fact, as is Santa. I just want right. the kids watching to know that. But now this is a lawyer. This <laughs> dit's head is a lawyer, man. This is an educated woman, man. Verifiable fact. Now she said she said that she brought up the race the race card, but then she made a race comment. She said Santa is a white man, right. and Jesus is a white man. Right. And what she said, that's a historical fact. Yeah, verifiable. Verif verifiable. No, it's not. You didn't verify what? Where did you verify that from? A cracker a cracker jack box? Oh, wow. You damn white people are looking stupid, man. <laughs> Looking ignorant, ignorant man. Yeah. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. As if, well, no, no, yeah, Santa is white. Well, all the time I got the documents, we're gonna bring it out. Santa Claus actually did exist. 
But you gonna find out he was actually a black man for the kids at home. <laughs> okay, Santa was black, <laughs> and still we gonna prove it. But like we talking, they talking about Santa Claus, not the actual character that they have of some fat white guy in a red suit. He actually lives up at the North Pole right now, and he's get right now at the North Pole is bustling up there. You know, it's, it's like it's real busy. The elves are working. Getting it, you know, like there because Christmas is a couple of weeks away. Yeah. So right now, uh, what's that word? The North Pole is buzzing with activity right now, man. You know, conveyor belts are, are on. Yeah, them conveyor belts are going, man, and shit like that. He's making Lexuses and uh, Infinities now too. Yeah, yeah, you those know? are Christmas gifts. Hey, got one cracker, uh, Santa tore his red suit, and this cracker sewed the suit up, and, the, and the Santa took it back, and then. Dude had a fucking car keys and shit. He went out there, and you know, I think it was a fucking uh, infinity and shit, man. <laughs> yeah, but like that's actually you, going you, on. You, you, that that proves that you devils are going down, man. I don't, I don't give a damn what polite says, man. All right, because because this white man is my devil. All right, that's unlike right. unlike yours. Yeah, is there Santa's wife is handing him cups of hot cocoa yeah. to keep him up. <laughs> Anyway, let's go back to this, man. <laughs> so Jesus from Galilee was a white man. Let's get to CNN legal analyst Mark Ergos and Sonny Hostin. Sonny, your reaction to what uh, Megan said. Well, I was really shocked because I've worked with Megan, and Megan and I used to do this weekly segment on the O'Reilly Factor called Is It Legal? And she's a lawyer, and we used to debate all the time, and I always found her very prepared um, and, and very well researched, and I was surprised at her ignorance because my mother is an educator, and when I grew up, we knew that the history of Santa Claus was that he was from modern-day Turkey, and so, in fact, he was a brown man, and I've always had brown wait, wait, Santas. Wait now, they say modern-day, you got it? They say modern-day Turkey. Now, when he, when he was on the scene, this was during the time of the so-called Byzantine Empire. Mm -hmm. yeah, I got All right? Yeah, I'm... Now, the, now, the reason why they said the word Turkey, because the Byzantine, the so-called Byzantine Empire, what the scholars call the Byzantine Empire, the Christian Empire, was in that area of Turkey. The main place was a place called uh, uh, Constantinople, named after uh, Constantine. All right, Con I believe Constantine the Great, because it was a line of Constantine, team, but I believe it was named after after the first one. And when the uh, the uh, Ottoman Turks, which were crackers that um that uh, embraced Islam, all right, mm -hmm. when they sacked uh, that er Constantinople, they renamed it um, Istanbul, Turkey. That's why she made the statement about he from uh, uh, Turkey. All right. Um, this is from uh, Wikipedia. Uh, it's entitled um, St. Nicholas. Uh, St. Nicholas, which is what Santa Claus is based upon. St. Nicholas of Myra was a 4th century Greek Christian bishop of Myra. Now Demre in Lycia, a province of the Byzantine Anatolia, now in Turkey. Uh, Nicholas was famous for his generous gifts to the poor. All right. Nicholas was famous for his generous gifts to the poor. In particular, presenting the three impoverished daughters of a pious Christian with dowries so that they would not have to become prostitutes. Uh, he was very religious from an early age and devoted his life entirely to Christianity. Um, and all these clues prove that he was a, a so-called black man. He was a, um, he definitely wasn't a so-called white man, because, because <laughs> first of all, it says he was he was famous for his generous gifts to the poor. <laughs> what what so-called white man you know is famous for that? <laughs> yeah, because the super rich ain't helping the yeah. the, the the masses of the poor. They don't give a shit about the poor. Yeah, exactly. So That's how right. in the hell can uh, Saint Nick be a, a white man? Yeah, just on that alone. Then it says he was very religious, which means what? He believed in the Bible. He believed in the scriptures. Again, that's a characteristic of a so-called black man or a man of the tribes. That's not a characteristic of you so-called white people. All right? Yeah, now I have a book. I call this The Dagger. Um, and it's called uh, Icons and Saints of the Eastern 
Orthodox Church. Okay? Now, I'm just going to go, and I also have another book called The Icon, um, and I'm going to bring that out as well. But I'm going to show you this picture right here to show you, Megan Kelly, all right, uh, that, uh, that you don't know what the hell you're talking about, all right? And you're defending a goddamn lie. But your lie is being overthrown by the truth. The, tr we, the truth is here now. So the lie got to go, and you crackers, you got to go with the lie. That's right. All right, which is right in the slavery, okay? And I'm going to show you this one picture. We finna expose y'all asses. Yeah, and basically, you know, all this this uh, information is coming out. I'm sorry. This is a uh, transfiguration. I'm going to show you a couple of icons. And uh, you can clearly see that the Lord and the disciples around them are uh, on either side are black men. Yeah, and there's all this information that you're looking at, you, you're seeing that it's coming out and basically exposing you so-called white people for the liars that you, you are. You know, you're, you're forges of lies. You know, and she said that with, with basically with utter hate. Yeah. You know, like, like she just, like, like, you know, she said it. In that, that pompous uh, Edomite or so-called white person uh, attitude. Yeah, that look. Yeah, I got a scripture for you uh, while you look at uh, the icons. Now, you know what this is, too? This is uh, evidence of the prophecy in the book of Revelation where it says the earth would help the woman. The woman is Israel. The earth, meaning the artifacts and the different uh, uh, icons, would prove that we're telling the truth. All right? Uh, this is Revelation 12, 15, and 16. It says, and the serpent, which is you so-called white people. Yeah. It's another title for you, the serpent, as well as the devil, yeah. as well as the wicked. And, and the serpent, because what did the so-called North American Indians call you? Forked tongue devils, all right? It says, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And that flood is not actual water. That flood is a flood of lies. Like I'll give an example, uh, Jesus Christ being a so-called white man. That's part of that flood. You know, the Israelites are white. God is white. You know, the apostles were white. The angels are white. That's part of that flood. And the main um, uh, thing that was used to carry that flood is the Roman, so-called Roman Catholic Church. All right, that's the main hub where when Esau got there, because the Roman, so-called Roman Catholic Church was first controlled by us, Jake. Then when you devils came into power during the time of the Borgias, you started controlling the so-called Roman Catholic Church. As a matter of fact, um, this guy, Rodrigo Borgia, another title he had was a, a holder of the cup, all right, because he became the new pope, all right? So going back to the scripture, it says, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood, and that really started around the time of the Bourget Empire, okay, when those flood of lies started coming out, especially from the Vatican. Uh, after the woman, the woman being you tribes, Israel, you Israelites, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. So now, just like you just saw Elder Tar showing you the icons, that's prophecy right there. The earth helped the woman, meaning... The earth means the icons and the artifacts that are showing that we're teaching the truth. It's helping us prove out, prove what we're saying out of the scriptures. Hey, I got another one. This is um, from the same book, Icons and Saints of the Eastern Orthodox Church. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> uh, and this is on page 63. And the page, uh, on page 62, you have the caption, the creation, and the fall. And it says here in um, the sub sub caption, it says, uh, "In the tree, the snake whispers to Eve to pluck the forbidden fruit. Eve listens to him and in, implicates Adam as well." So I'm gonna show you the picture. Speak. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm gonna finish this. Uh, Revelation twelve sixteen, and the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth, and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. So that's those flood of lies. When it says the earth opened up her mouth, meaning by the artifacts and the, and the that are coming out, that, you know, with these different books. 
proven that the one you call Jesus Christ was a so-called black man. There's icons of him. The icons of the apostles, how they really looked. All right? Drawings and illustrations of how they really looked. All right? You know, the Israelites, there's icons of that. So, you know, the Lord have given us the ability to find it, and now we're bringing it out, and that's helping to swallow up the lies which this devil has been casting ever since the Borgias got in there. That's right. That's right, because we're at the time of the end. Yeah. And the main thing that the Lord said was going to happen at the end was that these, the wicked was going to be revealed. And everything that he's hidden is going to be turned back the right side. Because it was, it was uh, uh, turned upside down during the time of the Renaissance period. And now, in, in, in from that point on, from the 1300s into the 1400s until now, that lie has been portrayed. But now, within the last 40 years or so, you know, a little longer than that, the, the, the truth has been coming out that, that um, the people of the Bible are really you know, black people, so-called black people, yeah. you know? Yep. And it's coming out, you know, and, and these devils are, are, are running to try to uh, uh, to keep hiding it and trying to keep the, the truth down. But the they're truth is to defend that lie. They're trying to defend that lie. Also, they're All getting right? mad because if you read the next verse, which is the last verse of the 12th chapter, it says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman. So these devils that now as the truth comes out now, watch. They're going to start getting mad because they can't do, hey, as it is written, you, for, we can be, for we cannot be against the truth, but for the truth. You can't do nothing against the truth, man. The truth is like a genie. Once it come out that bottle, you, can, you can't push that genie back in the bottle, man. You know? So it says, and the dragon was wroth with the woman, the woman being the, Israel, the Israelites, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Now, what have we been telling you about martial law? All right. What have we, we been telling you about that? What have we been telling you, Jakes, that you're the main enemy to the so-called white man? You know, if you go in the book of Psalms, the 83rd chapter, it tells you that this white man, which is the tabernacles of Edom, they want to destroy you. All right. You, don't you get it, man? They're your enemy, man. All right. So I'm sorry. Here's more proof and I'll finish it, pass it on. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed which kept the commandments of the Heavenly Father and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And we've been telling you, brothers, some of you may have to face the guillotine. You have the testimony. All right? They're, they're coming, man. We've been telling you that. You know? Hey, I found this here, which is actually uh, Nicholas of Myra, which is Saint Nick, Santa Claus. This is, first of all, he was skinny and he was tall. All right? And he had a, uh, a dark beard, not a white beard, all right? He wasn't a white man. Um, it says here, uh, top tier birth of Nicholas, uh, his education. He becomes deacon, deacon, is ordained bishop, buys a rug from a poor man, gives it to the poor man's mother, all right? So that's where you equate all that Santa Claus giving gift. It goes back to St. Nick, all right? And here's a picture of him. Yeah, so basically, you know, all this information is coming out. That's why these devils are in the last ditch attempt to try to overthrow the truth. You know, they they uh got these uh so called black conscience dudes out there, morons. Yeah, exactly, pushing that bullshit out there to try to uh, uh com continue to confuse the people. But the truth is going out. The elect are being sealed, and they can't do anything about it. Now, may I say something? Now, as you look at this icon, you just mentioned the black consciousness niggas. As you look at this icon, polite with all his knowledge and all his information and all them stupid niggas and them moors, them, how come they don't know about so-called blacks ruling the, right? They're all about trying to, uh, this black conscious shit, right? They should know all this. They should have this information. Well, he didn't even know where the Egyptians, the real Egyptians are. He didn't even, him, yeah, he speak on that. yeah, he didn't even know that. But what I'm saying, these icons, that book that Elder Taha has that he just showed you, that he's showing you, them icons from them niggas if they really wanted to do their research they have access to these books just like we do how come they don't know about that how come polite and all, the, all them guys don't know about that they should know that wait a minute Santa Claus that's real knowledge it takes real study and knowledge to find out about stuff like that they just Africa 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 all black people but they don't want to go back to Africa but they don't want to go back there and polite got money 
the, the, don't be deceived. Polite and Sarnetta and them guys, they got money. Won't they get plane, charter plane tickets and move back to Africa? Move to fucking Egypt, man. Yeah. They got McDonald's and shit over there. Yeah, take his wives over. I guarantee you, Polite, I guarantee your wives don't want to go to no goddamn Egypt, yeah, all they'll right? Get the, they'll get the Afros, but they ain't going to go to Africa. <laughs> You know, hey, the Dave Chappelle Chappelle. ain't going to Africa. That's and right. all you niggas that went to Africa, you brought your black ass back over yeah, here. Dave man. Chappelle. Richard Pryor went over there. He yep. brought his black ass over there. That's right. All right. That's right. <laughs> and yeah, Richard Pryor said they don't have older; they have old dear. Old dear. Okay. That's right. Even even Jamie Foxx, he went over there and he brought his black ass back over here, man. Chris Tucker went over there. Dave Chappelle. Dave, Dave Chappelle. Chappelle. All right. Hey, um, um, uh, what's her name? Uh, Oprah. Uh, she thinks she's from the tribe of uh, 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 she's from a uh, uh, Zulu, well she don't look nothing like of the of the, the Zulus, all right. But since she's so into that African thing, go back to Africa and live there. Open up a studio up there and have your studios over there in Africa, all right. The real African women they don't put perms in their hair, all right. So lose those perms, you you African, yeah, lose no, the no 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 no. no. <laughs> The, now, if you really want to get back into the roots of Africa, you better go out in the woods with them lions and tigers and them gazelles and shit, all right? You better goddamn live in a fucking hut, okay? So don't go, no, no, don't go, don't go to Pretoria. Yeah, don't go back to Pretoria, South, Pretoria, South Africa and certain developed uh, places of Africa and wear a suit because they got them African women. A lot of those African women that live in them big cities, uh, that the white man showed him how to gave him the technology, by the way, okay? Which you wouldn't know that you wouldn't know the word Egypt or Sarah Sudan said you wouldn't know how to say that had it not been for the white man teaching your master. Okay? Now the the black woman over there, the black African women, they're getting perms in their hair, they're wearing wigs, they're getting weaves. And then another thing that they're doing is bleaching their skin. That's big over there in those uh, uh, major uh, uh, cities in Africa, all right? Ain't too many Africans. Now, if you go out into the deep woods, out there into the plain and shit, nigga, how long you, gonna, how long you think you're going to be out there polite? Huh? And your wives, how long they gonna, How long you think your, your wife's uh, 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 high heel shoes is going to hold up out there in the desert? <laughs> okay. And the same goal for you, Sarah Sue and Betty. He brags about how he takes trips over there. You take trips over there, and the, and the Arabs and the white man, mainly the Arabs, they take you on a tour, and they tell you what you need to know. And you get your black ass, your high yellow ass, back on the plane, and you take your black ass either back to Detroit or back to the Harlem. When you and then you might say, well, when are you Israelites going back to the land of Israel? Well, it's in the scriptures. We're gonna go back to the land of Israel when the Most High destroyed this place. The reason why we were brought over here in the first place was to fulfill prophecy. Deuteronomy, <clears throat> Deuteronomy, the twenty-eighth chapter. All right. And the way, and and we are here, and we are set up to condemn this place, due by by way of the scriptures. Yeah, but let me say this too here. I got this other book. Now, Megan Kelly, she might have this book. And we might just go down to Fox News and confront her ass, man. But I already know it's going to happen. They're going to call the cops on us, and they're going to they're gonna call security. Because one thing about you crackers, right? You keep that lie going, but when somebody comes and represents the truth, you want to call cops, cops on the on, on on a motherfucker, you know? You bunch of look. Your your time is up, man. Your time is up, Mister White man. You're going down, and your woman, man. They're gonna be our concubines. Although there's a lot of Israelite groups that ain't into that. Well, guess what? That's more Edomite women for myself, man. Okay, we're gonna prep them up and make them look good. We might give them tans and shit, man. Cause the Moors did that. And you guys going around calling yourself Moors, the, the, the real Moors, the ancient Moors that were ruling over there in Spain, they had concubines, man. And these were Edomites, man. 
Oh, I got a book on that where they put the Moors preferred the top woman that the Arabs and the Moors preferred were white women over any damn woman at that time as concubines. And then in a minute, I'm going to go see if I can grab that book up, man, if I can find it, man. But anyway, this book is called, uh, this book is called uh, <clears throat> The Passion of Christ. And, he, and there's a uh, scripture, Isaiah 53 and 5, and it says, He was wounded for our sins, and with his stripes we are healed. Then you got some fucking cracker, man. You think a cracker's going to get his ass whipped for, some, for, for something like this? He looked just like a Roman, man. How the hell Roman crackers going to beat the shit out of a, a, another cracker that says, says he's the Messiah? And then if you notice, when you check out these different icons, like this is Leonardo, the, the Cap, um, Leonardo da Vinci, all right? Uh, this is called The Last Supper. If you notice the year... It's from, uh, dated from uh, 1494 to 98. And they're, they're all crackers up in there, right? Edomites, devils. So you can understand. Yeah, some of them have a woman up in there. And there's a woman up there. That's supposed to be Lucrezia Bogier, which was the sister of uh, uh, Ch Cesare Bogier. Okay. And you see in the picture, basically you see Cesare Bogier a couple of times. You see Cesare a couple of times. And you see uh, his father, Rodrigo uh, Bogier, which was the uh, Pope Alexander VI of uh, Rome, that he 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 brought his way into the pap uh, uh, brought his way into the papacy. All right, and yeah. I'm gonna show you the picture. He was also called Calixtus. Calixtus. Yeah. yeah, which means when you look it up, the word calyx, which means uh, the cup. So he became the holder of the cup. I got a uh, precept here. This is Proverbs 12 and 19. It says, The lip of truth shall be established forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. So that moment, <laughs> that moment you had, uh, Esau, is up, man. It's up. That's why the truth is coming out. And, it, and the scriptures say the truth shall be established forever. So what you're watching is the beginning of the truth being established, man. You know? That we were, that we are the Israelites, that the Israelites were people of color, that the one you called Jesus Christ was a man of color, all right? Like back in the 60s, you so-called white people used to call us colored. Well, the one you called Jesus Christ was colored or was a colored, all right? That the apostles were men of color, that the disciples were men of color. All right, anybody got something to say? Yeah, let me say, let me say this. Okay, this right here, I'm just going through the pages, and this is, uh, okay, the Kiss of Judah, uh, one of many uh, paintings, uh, the Kiss of Judas, um, and this is uh, dated uh, for circa 1460. You notice all of these, majority of these paintings are, are, are during the time of the 1400s, because that's when you devils came back into power. That's right. Yep. Hold of the cup. There he goes. Yeah. A, a cracker kissing another cracker. On the lips. Yep. And that's another thing that's coming out about the truth of you so-called white people, that you're a bunch of faggots. All right? You're a bunch of queers, man. You know? You're not into women. Your men are into men. That's why you, you watch uh, paintings of uh, Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, they all got that homosexual element to it. Like there's a painting called The, the Finger of God. And you can, this God is supposedly this old so-called senior citizen white man. And he's reaching out the, his, with his finger to what is supposed to be Adam. And it looks like a homosexual moment, man. You'll, you'll see it. Yeah, I got this one here. This, this, this is another one. It's called, uh, uh, this is the guy's name. Uh, since you mentioned homo. The guy's name is uh, Guido René Ek Homo, mm. circa 1638. It says, a portrait-like image of Jesus, a René's Ek Homo. Oh, Eche Homo? Eche, Eche, which is spelled E-C-C-E, yeah. e Eche. I yeah. said Ek is Eche, Ichi. Yeah. Eche, Ichi. 
That, yeah, they took that from a scripture where I think it was Pontius Pilate said, Behold the man. Mm. Uh, eche, eche, eche homo means behold the man. Okay, eche homo. Yeah. Okay, eche homo. Okay. Yep. Uh, thank you. Con. Yeah. Let me see if I find it uh, for you, brothers. Behold the behold man. Uh, say something, bro. Picture of Jezebel Bonjour, that look like a straight up homosexual man, the so called white man. You know, but that's supposed to be the Lord, that's supposed to be the Messiah, Yahweh Shai. Hey man, that's why this truth is coming out. It's been coming out for the past 30 some odd years, but now it's intensifying. That's why, like Elder Tahar said, they bringing up these issues about the, the black Santa and Jesus being black, and they, they're gonna come out with another new so called Jesus movie because they're trying to push that. That that these devils are getting desperate because this truth is coming out and Israel is getting big. That Israel thing is getting big, okay? Yeah, it's becoming a problem now. This is uh now what you now uh, what Elder Tar just showed you is based on a uh, because I, I had seen it. Um, Ecce homo mean behold a man when you look it up. I think it's in Latin. Now this is taken from a scripture, John nineteen four and five. It says, Pilate therefore went forth again and said unto him. On to them, behold, I bring him forth to you, the him being Yahweh Shai, that ye may know and that I find no fault in him. Then came Yahweh Shai forth, wearing the crowns, of, wearing the crown of thorns, and the purple robe. And Pilate saith unto them, Behold the man. So that's where they get that that uh, term Eche Homo, behold the man. But this man was a so-called black man. He didn't look like the painting that uh, that uh, Elder Tar Yeah, but why can't uh, Megan Kelly see that? Yeah, because she's, she's supposed to be a she's supposed to be a uh, lawyer. Yeah, you know. Yeah, a liar. <laughs> well, <laughs> let's give let's give her the right name. She ain't nothing but another devil. Yeah. God. Okay, but we're hey. gonna go back to this. That's right. Because hey, these so-called white lawyers are really liars. Yeah, right. If if she was a real lawyer, first of all, first of all, if she was a, re- a lawyer, she wouldn't be de- she wouldn't be telling a man nothing because. The real lawyers go back to the law, which is the scriptures. And the scriptures in 1 Timothy, what is it, 2 and 12, says that a woman does not to usurp authority over a man. So the fact that she calls herself a so-called lawyer proves that you so-called white people are the devil. And you're on your way out. You're on your way out. Hey, 2014 is right around the corner. And um, the most I going to bring it up to another notch. Could could 2014 be the year that uh, this man is uh, destroyed? We don't know. We're, we're praying. We're praying that, it, that 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 happens. You know. So let's go back. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go back to the beginning. I'm gonna jump back to the beginning. Were Jesus uh, and go Santa go white? Oh, good. Well, Fox News anchor Megyn Kelly stepped into something of a holiday hornet's nest after insisting the two were just that white men. Kelly was reacting to a piece in Slate.com by Aisha Harris, who made the case that Santa should not be a white man anymore, writing, from here on out, Santa Claus should be a penguin. That's right, a penguin. Why, you ask? For one thing, making Santa Claus an animal rather than an old white male could spare millions of non-white kids the insecurity and shame that I remember from childhood, unquote. Here's Kelly's response. When I saw this headline, I kind of laughed, and I said, oh, this is so ridiculous. Yet another person claiming... It's racist to have a white Santa, you know? And by the way, for all you kids watching at home, Santa just is white, but this person is just arguing that, that maybe we should, we should also have a black Santa. Just because it makes you feel uncomfortable doesn't mean it has to change. You know, I mean, Jesus was a white man too, but you, you know, it's like we have, he was a historical figure. I mean, that's a verifiable fact, as is Santa. I just want right. the kids watching to know that. So Jesus from Galilee was a white man. Let's get to CNN legal analyst Mark Ergos and Sonny Hostin. Sonny, your Even this reaction to man. what uh, Megan said. Well, I was really shocked because I've worked with Megan, and Megan and I used to do this weekly segment on the O'Reilly Factor called Is It Legal? And she's a lawyer, and we used to debate all the time, and I always found her very prepared um, and, and very well researched, and I was surprised at her ignorance because my mother is an educator, and when I grew up, we...
The history of Santa Claus was that he was from modern day Turkey and so in fact he was a brown man and I've always had brown Santas in my home and anyone that knows anything about the history of Jesus Christ also knows that he was also a brown man. That's a picture of my Santa that is in my kitchen. In fact when my children see white Santa Clauses at department stores they call him the fake Santa and so I'm surprised at Megan's ignorance um, on, on this subject, especially given the platform that she has, uh, I think she should be ashamed of herself. Well, okay, so that's your, that's your take. I read, Mark, an interesting uh, interview with a scholar to, tonight who said, look, Jesus was from Galilee, so that's basically he, should, he would probably look like a, a Jewish Palestinian. But what Christ is all about is that he is every man. So in China, you'll find if, if there are Christians who are allowed to practice Anytime Christianity there. Anytime the fucking there, white man opens that up his Jesus mouth, would be Chinese. He puts and his fucking in foot South in there, America, man. that <laughs> you 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 the damn devil, man. Hey, but you know what? But polite, that's not your devil. You know, that's not your devil. Hey, like polite made a statement that the white man's not my devil because I can make it. I can do things and make it. But wait a minute. Go back to uh, the Black Wall Street. Them, those are black people that got together and opened up businesses and movie theaters and banks and all that, man. And they wouldn't bother with the white man. But guess what? The white man showed them that, that the white man pretty much said, look, I'm your devil. Yeah. And they bombed the hell out that place, man. Right. Destroyed it, man. Another incident, uh, what is it? Um, the movie was made after Rose, down in Rose, Rosewood. Rosewood, yeah. Rosewood was another incident that showed the so called white man. Oh, so now had Polite been uh, spreading his bullshit right. at the Black Wall Street right. when they dropped them bombs, he, him and his four women, women would have got it. Yep, that's right? right, that's right. Or if a K, or if the KKK, a Ku Klux Klan, rolled up on you and uh, uh burned a cross on your lawn. Or hang your ass or off hang a your damn ass. street. <laughs> Are you going to say the white man is not my devil? Polite, you're a fucking moron. Yeah, but polite, right? you're looking bad, man. You're a moron. You, you and Megan Kelly are looking bad. Yeah. All right? And we don't say that politely, all right? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> no, yeah, pun intended. Uh, Isaiah, Isaiah 25 and 7. And he will destroy in this mountain the face of the covering cast over all people and the veil that is spread over all nations. So you devils are being revealed, man, because the Lord is pulling that veil back, and they're starting to see that, that you're nothing but the devil, man, that you just lied about everything. You didn't just lie about one thing. You lied about everything. Yeah. You know, I got I got a, I got a, I got a uh, article here. It says, Santa Claus was in European Moor by Orguejo Anu. It says, Santa Claus is a... Did you hear that, Meg Megan? Did you hear that? We, like I said, don't be surprised if we come down with a camera crew when you leave on your show, all right? right. But we ain't going to come down anyway because I already know what you're going to do. You're going you're gonna, you're gonna to gonna call security, you know? It says, uh, Santa Claus is a shortened form of Saint, of San Saint Nicholas. He is supposed to be this easy, go, happy, fat, Nordic fellow, pale-skinned man from the North Pole yelling, ho, ho, ho. And as he merrily brings the cheer of the Christmas season to all and, and sundry. Who is the real St. Nicholas? Nicholas was probably born during the 3rd century in the village of Patara. In what is now the southern coast of Turkey. He was born of very wealthy ethnic black Anatolians oh. of the ancient Roman Empire. He was one of those ancient and dominant black <laughs> Moors of Europe. That you only uh, fleetingly come across in today's Western history because the Gothic Europeans would hide the true Moorish history <coughs> in Europe. And they have a picture of them. They have a picture of Elder, Elder Sakharan, if you could the just show. Woman, yep. They have a picture of him, and you could clearly see he's not, he's not a light skinned black man. He's a very dark black man. So yeah. get your facts together, yep. Megan. A Samuel, it looked like Samuel L. Jackson. He, look, he looks like a lot of Negroes I know. Yeah, yeah. Samuel L. Jackson yeah, should play yep, Santa Claus. Yep, that's man. right. That's right. <laughs> hey, I got a precept. Another scripture about uh, come about Esau. This is Jeremiah forty nine and fifteen, and this is pretty much what's happening now. This is prophecy, man. For lo, I will make thee small among the heathen. Meaning, you Edomites, the mother. <laughs> 
You're being brought down spiritually. The truth is coming out. Because all the other nations, man, all these other nations, really America's going down. You so-called white people are going down. And the other nations are getting paid off you. So on a financial world level, the other nations are raising up over Esau. The goddamn Moabites, the gooks, they pretty much control America financially, man. And these other nations, they're just making money off your ass. And that's why America's going down. So Esau, the so-called white man, he's being made small among the heathen. Also, too, this truth is coming out, man. Uh, for lo, I will make thee small among the heathen and despised among men. <laughs> All these other nations, they hate you so-called white people. They, the, the truth is coming out, and you white people, the whole world is seeing all the wickedness and all the bullshit and the propaganda that goes on here in America, man. And that's why they're coming against you. And despised among men. Everybody wants a piece of you crackers. Them Arabs and all these other nations, they hate you. They hate you so-called white people. Okay? They'll come over here and they'll make money with you and they'll perform business and trade with your ass. But they really hate you, man. Yeah, they haven't forgotten, like in the case of the Japanese, they haven't forgotten about Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You don't forget about something like that, you know? You know, and you know what you did in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And it was you fucking white devils that did it. Are you, that's one thing you can't blame on a nigga. You like to blame shit on a nigga. Well, there's a black man that did it. Well, Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you can't blame that on no other race but your own people, man. You so-called white people. Yep, 16th verse, Jeremiah 49, 16. Thy terribleness have deceived thee. Yeah, because you devils had the power for so long. The most high, Yahweh, Yahweh Shah gave you your power. But because you had that great power and you've been ruling and putting your foot up everybody's ass for so long, it went to your head and you really believe that you wasn't going to ever go down. But the Lord is bringing you down now. Uh, thy terribleness have deceived thee and the pride of thine heart, O thou, o thou that dwellest in the cliffs of the rock. That's why, that's why you call yourself Caucasian. Caucasian means cave dweller. So, yeah. go, go, go to, go to uh, etymology online. Okay. And that's right. And you are Caucasians because you came out of the Caucasus Mountains of South Georgia, Russia. How did you get up into those mountains? Because you were pushed up. Speaking of Santa Claus and the Byzantine Empire, it was during that period of time when it was us, so-called people of color, that pushed your asses up into the uh, mountains, man. Black people pushed you up into the mountains, the Israelites. And that's why your ass has stayed up in the mountains for a couple of hundred years where you were reduced to the level of cavemen. Then around the 1400s, that's when y'all started coming up out of them goddamn mountains, man. Like during the period of Caesar Borgia, shortly prior to the period of Caesar Borgia's, y'all started kind of coming out of those mountains, man. Making sure they kept her fucking mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it might, this might, we're going to keep pushing this, man, because there might be a protest to get you fired, Megan, yeah. from from your uh, job, all right? We got, hey, they got rid of, they got rid of uh, uh, Sean and Sandy. Now they get, now it's time to get rid of your racist ass. And you are a racist. Yeah. Based upon them statements that you made, you are racist, man. And, and Sonny Hostin, that chick, by the way, her, her father's black and her, and her mother's Puerto Rican, all right, and she's a top lawyer. And she said it like she like if she saw you, she, she'll swing for your ass, you know? <laughs> yeah, you, could, you could always find a, a future sliding down a pole, <laughs> making Kelly. Oh, yeah, you'd be good for that. <laughs> you'd be good for that. I wonder how she got that position in the first, yeah, that yeah, position yeah, in the first yeah, place, all right? Yeah, what yeah, what you know? pole was she Well, we ain't going to say that. Because we can't prove it. It's yeah. not a fact as That's of yet. It's not so a very fact. As she said, that, that, that a story, there's an historic Jesus and it's historical, or, or, or Jesus is white. Yeah. Okay, you couldn't stop on Santa. Right. You had to put Jesus up in there, man. Right. What the hell's wrong with y'all? <laughs> hey, you want everything. You double you, want everything. You, hey, hey, as, uh, uh, this is guy Anthony Hilda said, you want it all. You want it all. That's why you're going to lose it all. Because you want it all, you damn devil. In one day, in one day yeah. of one hour. One hour. You're going to lose every goddamn thing. <laughs> I got the word Caucasian. Now, the elder told me to go to online. At some, you know, this is why Jay Rockefeller said that. Hey, the, you know what, man, now? If uh, Burgess Meredith was here, oh, yeah. 
He'll st- he'll be all quiet, sitting in the corner and shit. <laughs> and he'll grab the mic and start cursing your ass out too. Yeah, that's right. All right. <laughs> and like like in that movie, uh, like in the 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 Twilight, Twilight Zone, Zone episode, <laughs> the obsolete man. Yeah. Now what did he quote when he got the the crack in the room? He started quoting, quoting scriptures, scripture. man. Hey, what, what, polite. <laughs> why didn't he quote the Why didn't he quote the Egyptian Book of the Dead? Oh, the then he, yeah, and then he had the chancellor on his knees crying when he was quoting that scripture. He quoted one scripture: "The fool have said in his heart, there is no God." He was he had it bringing him to his knees. The Bible, man, and that shows you. I'm I'm sorry, brother. That shows you. Rod Serlin was up on the scriptures too. All right. Rod Serlin, the creator of the twi- yeah, yeah. Polite, polite, polite. Just shut the fuck up, all right? <laughs> you and Megan. Well, call her Maggie. Maggie, Megan, Megan Kelly, and Polite. Y'all need to just shut yeah. shut down. Hey, well, you know what? The Chancellor, in that episode, he was acting, Polite was acting a lot like the Chancellor. <laughs> that is the Chancellor. Oh, yeah, the right. I knew you want a right. nut with right. and, right. the, and the Chancellor was using all them 50, he was using them $1,000 words. Yeah. Hey, Polite, that, that, that's you. You the Chancellor. Look, what illusions that you inject into your veins. That's polite. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. The state that there is no That's God. The bi- oh, and then the chancellor was going against the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible, there is no God. The, the narcotic state. you call literature. The narcotic that you call literature. And that's polite. Polite be doing his hands like that. Yeah. That's, the ch- <laughs> that's the chancellor. But then. At the end, the chancellor was crying like a bitch. God, let me out. Please let me out in the name of God. All of a sudden, he found God, and then Burgess Meredith said, "Yes, I will let you out." Then he let his punk ass out, and then when he got back, he thought he was going to have his same position, and he was replaced. He said, "You are, you are obsolete. You are a coward." And they called him a coward. <laughs> and shit, you know, he was on the top man. He was a new. He came in, and the guy was sitting there. You are. I am not obsolete. You are a coward. Very soon, yeah. polite. polite, you're going to be obsolete very soon. You mark our words, man. You and that Egyptian bullshit is going to be obsolete very soon. And your woman with the bottom and gland. That was so ridiculous. Now, a brother read an article to me off the internet the other day, last night or the other night before, a nigger woman, some nigger woman, right, somewhere in the country, she got, she, she, she got babies or she got a kid or kids with some black guy, so-called black man. I mean, and this made the, the news. The dude was working. He had a job or whatever, a good job. And I guess he lost. You know, Jake is on hard times. He got laid off, so he wasn't working, so he couldn't pay the child support no more. Like he was paying the child support. And pretty much this bitch, this black bitch told the guy, well, look, nigga, if you can't pay the child support, if, uh, if, if you want to see your kids, I forgot the price. You gotta pay each time you want to see the kids. She charged them like uh, uh, f- f- I forgot what a hundred dollars, fifty dollars. Like I said, I want to come over and see the kids. Okay, that's fifty dollars. Now, if you want to keep the kids for the whole weekend, that's a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Hey, well, when that deal go down, the black man gonna show what he really feel about the black woman. And the black woman ain't God. She she ain't. She just a goddamn woman, right? Anyway, I got this scripture going back to Megyn Kelly of Fox, uh, Fox uh, Cable News, whatever the hell they, they call itself. Um, yeah, Megan, you're going to be famous on, on the Elders of GMS show. That's right. Uh, this, is, this is due to right of me. And this, and this goes for all you Edomites, you, you, you white people so you can understand, you devils. Deuteronomy 32 and uh, 20. It says, and he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very uh, forward generation, children, children in whom is no faith. Now, that really applies to us. But now that applies to you devils. Okay? Now I'm going to jump down to the 28th verse and the 29th verse. It says, for, for they are a nation... Talking about us, um, but now it's talk. Uh, apl- now the scripture applies to you, Edomites, white people, Megan Kelly. For for they are a nation void of counsel, and she's supposed to be a counselor, right? right. Neither is there any 
understanding in them. That's why she made the statement that Santa Claus is white when we proved, all right, that he was a black man from the Byzantine Empire. And that she said that the Jesus was white. And we proved that, and we didn't even prove that, but we're going to prove that too. Well, we proved that through the icons, that, that the Lord Jesus is a black man. It says, uh, 28 again, it says, For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. 29. Oh, that they were wise, because you crackers are not wise. You're losing everything. That, that they understand this, that they would consider their latter end. See, you devils, you're not considering your latter end. Your latter end is that you're going to go into slavery. That's your latter end. Anybody got something to say? Yeah, under the very people you despise. You're going to go into slavery. Yeah, um, they only told me to look up Caucasian on on uh, online etymology dictionary. And the word there is uh, Caucasian, which is a noun. It says resident or, nar- resident or native of the Caucasus. Uh, see, Caucasian meaning one of the white race. And uh, I guess the name came about from uh, 1958. Now it says a resident or native of the Caucasus. What is the Caucasus? It was a region of mountains. All right. So going back to the prophecy Elder Ricard read, it says, Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. So who the hell is it talking about? It's talking about you so called white people. And Re- then, and then you, mm-hmm. they went off on that because not all so called white people are ca- Caucasian yep. because some of them came out of the Caucasus Mountains. And the region of mountains uh, in between uh, the Black Sea and the Caspian Sea, I believe, mm-hmm. um, in Georgia, Russia. But then you had other so-called white people that came from Mount Seir, or what uh, historians or archaeologists call today uh, a Petra, yeah. which is Mount Seir, because Come. that that was your that was your original homeland. Yeah, no, just say. And the then some of you were pushed up into the caves of the Caucasus Mountains, yeah. and and. Others of you stayed down into uh, Mount Seir. Con. So really, you can't even call. You don't know whether a uh, white man call him a Caucasian. He might not be a Caucasian. Right. He might be a Seirite. Seirite. All right? Yeah. Hor- yeah, yeah. Or a Petraite. Petraite. Okay. Yep. Yeah, because they, here they have native of the Caucasus. The na- you were natives of Mount Seir. So like the elder said, you, you would be correctly called a Seirite. Anyway, it goes back to the caves. <laughs> Going back to the prophecy well, of Job. There was a group of caves too. Yeah, kind of. Right? Yes, uh, going back to the prophecy in Job. It says, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. So the point is, who the hell is it talking about? It's talking about you so-called white people, all right? And today you call yourself Caucasian. A lot of you call yourself Caucasian. You don't even know why the hell you call yourself Caucasian. Why? why? All right? Name? Lawyer, what's her name? Uh, uh, this bitch, lawyer, no, the white bitch. Megan Kelly, Kelly asked her one simple question. Why are you white people called Caucasians? She couldn't even answer that. Right. You guys are known as Caucasians. Why? Why are you? Yeah. Well, ask any so-called white person that. Ask any so-called white person. This is a question to you so-called white people. Why are you known as Caucasians? But you're not even white. Ask him that. Why you, you call yourself white? You're not white. You're red. Right? So why do you call yourself white? The majority of you are a bunch of dummies, man. You don't know what the hell is going on. Yeah, and it says here in uh, Genesis 36, uh, 8 and 9, it says, Dust dwelt Esau. That's who you white, white folk are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In Mount, in Mount Seir, Esau, Esau is Edom. Because sometimes we'll call you, we'll, we'll refer to you as Esau or the Edomites. And you dwelt in Mount Seir. Ninth verse. And there are and and these are the generations of Esau, the father of the Edomites in Mount Seir. Yeah. So you would be a, rightly, rightly, correctly, you would be a Seirite, all right? A, a native of Mount Seir. Come. <laughs> yeah, we can call you an Edomite, we can call you Esau, yep. we can call you the devil. Yep. All right, we can call you a Seirite, we can call you a Petraite, okay? Right. Or we can call you Satan. We can call you a Caucasian. Yeah. All right, those are different names that you picked up along the way along the of way. history. <laughs> down, the, down the corridors yeah. of history. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you will never call yourself. That's like Elder Taha always says. You will never see all these documentaries that these white people do. Like myself, 
I love to watch like the biography channel and the history channel and all them type of channels and they show those different documentaries and they got all these goddamn things that they be doing decoding the past decoding the bible all these different well, well I'm, I'm I'm taking from other to her oh, the naked archaeologists they never yeah they yeah. never do a thing on Esau they don't touch that man yeah. but they did a thing called Petra okay and I watched it and they were just so no this is Petra yeah, the Arabs had it, and I'm, I I just knew they were gonna say that the Edomites. They ain't mention the word e. The word Edomite cannot come out your mouth, man. That's right. Okay. That's right. Well, there's a media block on that. That's why. See, them so-called archaeologists and them people that do them shows. Let's uh, journalists or whoever. Let's say even if they wanted to bring it out, they couldn't. It's a media block on that. They'll kill you. Or they tell them, look, man. You can't, you can't do this. You can't bring out nothing. About, they tell him. That is the 13th tribe. Yeah, what, what was this guy? Arthur, Arthur Coastal. Arthur Coastal. He brought out the truth on you damn devil showing that you so who's are really Kazakhs. Yep. And they killed Joe, and they killed that dude. Yep. Howard, Howard K. Rosenthal. He's another one. Hey, I just typed in on online etymology dic- dictionary. I typed in Edomite. It says no matching terms found. <laughs> <laughs> I just on a whim, you know. That means something. <laughs> that means something. <laughs> that, that, what did you type in? Uh, Edomite, and it, it maybe says, you spelled it wrong. No, nah, E-D- put in put in Esau. Yeah, put in yeah, Esau. There's a media block on that, man. Because you white people, you white folks, <laughs> put, put polite up in oh, there. See what? Right? What does it say about Esau? Uh, Very little. Yeah. Well, it says Rebecca. Uh, Rebecca, a uh, uh, biblical wife of Isaac, mother of Jacob, and Esau. And uh, pretty much it just gives the history of Rebecca. You know and, what? Uh, put, 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 uh, you put, what is that, Esau? Yeah, Esau. Put in, e- you put in Edomite, right? Edomite, yeah, nothing. No matching things found. Put in Edom. Put in Edom. Okay. Type in Edom. Okay, Edom. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. Boredom. <laughs> The first word is boredom. What the hell does that got to do with Edom? Yeah, the word Edom is a Hebrew word meaning um, meaning red. Yeah. They got boredom, oh. noun, freedom, noun. Uh, put, put everything that has Edom in, within the word. You know what? But they're, they're hiding something. Yeah. They're, and we know what they're hiding. Look at right? this, man. Speedometer. What is, speedometer. What speed- you, you, well, we can call you speedometers now. That's, a, that's another, you speedometers. Anytime an eater might run down the street from the truth, we're going to call you a speedometer. All right? So look at that speedometer going what down the devils, street. I put in idumia. Cut, if, if I may, these yeah, go ahead, are go too ahead, much, go brother. Ahead. They got speedometer, right? The ancient Greeks and Romans knew what speed was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but they didn't know that they ain't going to tell you that the ancient Greeks and Romans were Edomites. Yeah. They're not going to tell you. They're not going to put that together. These devils are too much, man. Right. <laughs> Megan? Megan? Oh, man. It says the ancient Greeks and Romans knew what speed was, and yet no one supposes they called it speed. When's, <laughs> well, speed. Whence it follows that speedo and speedometer are bar- barbarisms. What has that got to do with Edom, man? You know? <laughs> hey, now, go to the Urban Dictionary and then put in uh, Edomite. All right. Hold this. I got you, brother. Yeah, man. You, you people are gone. And for you guys, like that one bozo, you know, the guy that was down with Polite Number, then he came back and said, look, man, I'm anything that I said, the white man's not the devil, I'm not down with it. The guy that was down with Sa'adja and them guys, all you guys that was in this truth at one time and got disenchanted from the truth and so-called went back in the world and you all messed up and you don't know what's, you, you you like a, a feather in the wind you don't know what's going on you guys are all stupid man cause you had the right you had the truth at one time but then now you didn't fell out the truth and went back in the world or you went back into that madness that's why man you guys are gonna die too man the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai gonna get all of you man because all this information that we bringing out all this knowledge that we bringing out man it's cutting this devil. This devil know that what we're saying is the truth. That's why they're putting all this effort in to try to block the truth. And I'm going to go on record and say this. Polite, man, you sold out. You and all them guys were set up. I believe you guys are nothing but agent provocateurs, man. Well, well the, final, 
according to the prophecy in Revelation, the final thing they're going to do is try to come after us. And that's when, hey, well, that's the prophecy. When they try to come after us, that's when the Lord says he's going to lift a standard against them. And you know what that standard is? That's the spiritual power. Because this, this devil is going to get so mad that this truth is coming out, he's going to make that, latch, that, la that last final ditch effort to try to wipe away the truth with trying to wipe away the people that have the truth. That's what we just read in Revelation. That's why we tell you, brothers, this thing is serious, man. A lot of you brothers, you don't see the gravity of, the, of this thing, man. You really don't. Like Elder Tal would say, a lot of you, you just come to camp, you hold posts like an automaton, like a robot, and you don't even know what the hell is going on, man. You're just holding posts. You're just there. You know? <laughs> I mean, if you want to chime in on that. Yeah, that's right. And I'm going to say something, too. A lot of you guys and these other camps across the country, too, man, some of you guys, man, you're full of shit, too. Well, they're running out of gas, man, yeah. you know? They're running out of gas, Yeah, you know? That's all. Yeah, some some of you guys, man, y'all y'all haven't been tested, man. You learned a couple of scriptures and shit like that, and y'all get up there making videos and stuff like that. I mean, I'm not knocking you, brothers. Y'all doing the right thing, but a lot of you, some of you guys, a lot of you guys uh, in these other GMS camps, a lot of y'all going to fucking fall out too, man. Yeah, because unlike Nate, we're not trying to get a whole lot of people to come, come you know, Come get with us, yeah. all right? Yeah. Yeah. With our thing is to just get the elect, yeah. okay? Like they asked the, the the brother, that's uh, the general brother that's under Johanna, yeah. the ISUPK guy that represented Johanna and them, and they were asking, him, "What are you doing for the community?" And he was talking about what he did for the community. Look, we ain't doing nothing for the community, all right? That's we're right. not yeah. we're not a part of the community, all right? right? We go out amongst you to to push this word out. And for the elect to be uh, sealed, okay? We're not out here to give out blankets to you Negroes yeah. or, or, or uh, bread and fucking government cheese and all that. You know, we ain't got no homeless shelters for your ass. Okay, we, the only, only thing we have is the truth, all right? Oh, well, Yahweh Shai, if I may. Uh, you might yeah, yeah Yahweh Shai said it best. He said, the poor, you always... Ah, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a spirit. That's a spirit. Well, that's well, a, well yeah. the Lord had the power. All he had right. to do was snap his finger, and, and there was no more poor. Thank you. His his statement was, the poor is, all, is always yeah. going to be with you, that's man. That's it, brother. Yeah, and that's yeah. going to be in the kingdom. You're going to have that's poor right. people in the kingdom. Who going right. to be the poor people in the kingdom? Right. You are the nations. Yeah, yeah. Eat them. You eat them. You eat them, you're going to be the poor. You're going you're gonna to be the poorest. You're going to be on the bottom, bottom of the damn uh, the list. Yeah, and the richest and thing. This, and this all going to be, this is going to be real to your ass. <laughs> That's right, brother. Okay, shit going to be real after a while. That's to right. all you black consciousness clowns, to all you Edomites out there, to all you Arabs out there, all right? Yeah. <laughs> you had to say it like Lahab. <laughs> to you Moabites, you short-ass, chinky-ass Moabites, all right? Yeah. All you all you nations, okay, you coming up under our, you coming up under our boot. Okay, let me show you the boot. Okay, you coming up under this boot right here. Okay, big boot. I can't wait, man. I can't wait, man. It's you know what? Because right now it's a joke. Because you're just looking at a bunch of, in your eyes, you're just looking at a bunch of angry Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans that are just angry and disgruntled. And we're not just angry. We're going yeah. in the facts. We're going in right. the icons. We got all kinds That's of right. books, man. We got all kind of books. Okay, That's we right. Got this book right here. Yeah. Oh, I want to go into the law of fives. Ooh, okay, gun. this is going to be wind up being a a marathon any damn way. I can already see it. You know, gun. That, which they, that the law of fives. They show you that in the movies. That movie with Kevin Costner, The Postman. That's a damn good movie. Now in the movie, that's a hell of a movie. That guy that was that general that was ruling everything. He ruled under the law of fives, and then he would make all his men get the tattoo. On their arm, the law of fives. So that's all. Showing you Esau showed you. They give you hints in the movies about the witchcraft and masonry and all that shit. And furthermore, we're not we're not angry. Look at us, man. Do we look like we're all just a bunch of angry like Elder Taha said? We're bringing our knowledge. We're not all frustrated and flustered right now, man. Our attitude has really changed. After so many years in this truth, man. We're settled in this thing, man. That's yeah. why guys in GMS are falling off, because you're not settled, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, this truth is pickled in us, man. Marinated. The truth is marinated in Gun. us, man. Gun. Okay? Like fine wine. Yep. Like fine. See, like I said, and I was telling these other elders in the car coming up here, you got certain, some of you guys, and I'm talking about GMS right now, right? Some of you brothers, right? Y'all just fucking parrots, man. Y'all just actors, man. That's all you're doing. You ain't really real. 
you get blah, 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 blah. and certain brothers when you catch hell and certain bad things might happen to you you get all angry start punch certain guys punching walls and fuming what are you gonna do it damn blood pressure man and fuck your hand up and fuck your hand up when when you catch hell you're supposed to catch hell or you go somewhere and and, and the so called white people do some little racist shit certain brothers get all mad yeah, well, the scriptures say, arm yourself likewise with the sufferings that you have. Look at the Yahweh Shai for an example. Then the scriptures say, arm yourself likewise, meaning project your mind in that frame that Yahweh Shai caught hell. I'm going to catch hell if, if, you, if you're supposedly serving Yahweh Shai. But I, I had a one scripture I had. Um, I'll bring it out real quick. Uh, this is Isaiah 28 and 12. It says, to whom? Because you, you got the, you, you're talking about the community and the poor people. And we brought out a document saying that that term community goes back to the god Bar- Baal Barif, Barif, which was a god that Israelites were worshiping. That's why these so-called leaders are always mentioning the community, the community. They always say that word because it goes back to Baal Barif. Now, we have the word and we're giving it to you through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Shai, but you don't want it. You don't look at it as riches, which is the real riches. Uh, this is Isaiah 28 and 12. It says, to whom he said, this is the most high speaking through the prophet Isaiah. This is the rest wherewith ye may cause the weary to rest. What you hear, this truth, this knowledge. And this is the refreshing. Yet they would not hear. So that's, that's you people of the community, man. You don't want the word. You want, you want, uh, you, you know, you want those uh, carnal things. You don't want the spiritual things, which is, will cause you to rest. And to show you that ISUPK is going off, because Mo and them did that years ago. You know they had they were giving out blankets and food and all that. Yeah. You know, you, do you know what you're going to do? You're going to get some people that's going to actually believe, but you're going to get a lot of people that's going to play like they believe to get the blanket and the food, you know, to get the, to get the good goodies. All right, that that's in uh, Saint John six, and you get that, get that. So we ain't got nothing to offer you. All right. Only thing we have to offer you is the truth. Well, the, me and Elder Gabar, the scripture popped. We ain't going to give you the truth in a sandwich. That's right. All right? You, you just going to get the truth. That's right. Well, the, me and Elder Gabar, the, that same scripture popped in both of our heads at the same time. Yahweh Shai said, the poor you have always, the, the poor you have always, me you don't have always. So, you won't have always have. You won't always that, have. that's right. So, Yahweh, so what did Yahweh Shai said? Basically, Yahweh Shah said, fuck the poor, man. Now, Yahweh Shah, when he was on the earth, he took mercy on them because he, he Israel. They Israelites. Yahweh Shah, look, man, Israel, we are compassionate by nature. So, Yahweh Shah was an Israelite. He was out there teaching, and all them niggas were out there listening to him. He had mercy on them. Yes, he did. Because y'all, y'all try to quote that. Well, see, y'all going off. Yahweh Shah fed, fed the poor. Yeah, because they were faint. Yeah. They were faint. He didn't the next day open up a soup kitchen. Right. God. And then, and then you other camps, and that's why I say that, man. GMS is the top camp on, on the planet. And I always say that, and you guys get pissed off. And we're light years ahead of uh, Nate, okay? That's right. We're light years ahead of you, nigga, okay? You don't even, you don't even go out there and speak no more. We, 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 when was the last time you did a sit-down, man? When was the last time you, you, you went out there on the highways and the byways? <laughs> you you and Johanna. Oh, Johanna, well, the last time we saw you was what, six, seven months ago? Yeah. Where the hell are you at? We're in the world of Johanna. Yeah, that's right, man. You guys, man, you guys ain't got it, man. You guys ain't got it. And that and that's the whole thing, man. We ain't about trying to feed the poor. We about first of all, we all about the elect, man. We all about the elect. And Yahweh Shah said the hell with it. And like I said, Yahweh Shah fed them like Elder Tahar said, because they were they were listening to him. They were there for three days. What the hell? What do you expect? They they were there for three days. They were listening to him. Yahweh Shah knew. He said, "Look, if I don't feed these people, when they try to walk back to their homes, they're going to collapse. So I got to I got to feed them. I got to give them something to eat." Three days they were there. He went that on his kind. So he took mercy. He said, "Okay, let's feed these niggas and get them the hell out of here, man." I got the scripture for you. Okay. Um, this is the book of uh, John six. 26 and 27 um, it says Yahweh answered them and said verily verily I say unto you you seek me not because ye saw the miracles but because ye did eat of the loaves and that goes back to what Elder Tar was saying about you niggas if we were out there feeding you with the, with the physical food that's the only reason you would seek us 
or come after and, us. And that's why a lot of uh, you guys that are down with ISUPK, I'm not saying all of y'all, all right? But you're going to find out a lot of those guys are down with you to get a GED or if they're on drugs and get off drugs. Yep. And, and you know, uh, you know, some outreach program, or maybe get some housing. And then once they get back on their feet, guess what? They they out of there, man. They, they don't need you. They, no more. Don't, they don't need you no more. I'm not okay. like I said. I'm not saying all of y'all, all right? I'm I'm saying some of y'all, okay? So we don't have that, man. That's right. Um, reading on, it says, and we used to have a school back in uh, up in uh, Connecticut, and you know what we did? We ended up closing the school to the general public. Yeah, we put a, this is a spiritual thing. The right. school is where it's a spirit now, man. Right. There ain't no actual place. That's it's right. a spirit, man. That's right. Okay? The school is on the internet. That's right. The school is when we go out on the highways and the byways, man. That's right. Like one guy last week, he said, where's your school at? Right. And they, every time they say that, where can I get some literature and where's your school at? And I said, the school's right here. Because really, you know what they want? They want to be able to sit down and relax and maybe they'll give you some cookies and shit, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, that, that's, the, that's, the, that's the way they get people, man. Yeah. Cause a lot of a lot of you guys that come out in the when 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 the spring come back and the summer come back, you, we are gonna have crowds out there, man. Yeah. You got people out there that watches on YouTube for years and they get the the, the balls up, you know, the backbone up to come out there yeah. and they act like they never heard us and they got them preloaded questions for us, man. And they always get put to shame, man. Yeah, they come with. Uh, it's cold now. Yeah. You don't see too many guys out there, man. Yeah. That's right. But like I said, when it gets warm, you're gonna see the masses coming on out. And then you got other camps. Right. Number one on the list is 14th Street Dairy Queen. <laughs> All right? Yeah, that's right. Somebody asked him a question. Yeah, I like the way you teaching. Uh, what, what camp are you at? Well, I'm the I'm part of the 14th Street camp, but I really don't go out there now. But uh, yeah. sometime I go to the, four, the 40, 40, 45th Street camp. Well, wait a minute. If you're a leader, you be out there, man. Yeah. Need I go to the scriptures and show you the scripture where it says in season and out of season? Are you aware of that scripture? Huh? <laughs> And yeah. you're like the Megan Kelly of uh, of Israel, man. That's the yes, Megan Kelly. Is. He looked like Megan Kelly, man. Yeah, he got the same spirit. He got the same spirit as him. You guys are all fake, man. And like I said, some of them guys that's down with Johanna might the elect. Some of some of them guys might you know, be of the know, elect. If they are of the elect, they're going to eventually have to slide on on over to GMS. That's right. They're going to end up all doing right? that. They're going to they're gonna have to slide. They're going to have to slide on over, man, well, because. Because uh, this guy, uh, Johanna Gehenna, he yep. ain't got the truth, man. Yep. Yeah. And yep. it's evident by the fact that he ain't out there, man. Yep. He's missing. He's MIA. Yep. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, he, and you should be ashamed, Johanna, because you had to send one of your uh, underlings to do the work that you should have been doing at that debate. But you know what? You wouldn't have been able to do the job that your underling did. That's all right. At least you had enough sense to know that, because all you would have done was rant and rip, rah, rah, like you always do. You know, that's all you would have did. Well, like, brother, well, he disappeared right at the time when them black consciousness guys came at him. That's right. He, and he, well, he's well. We've been saying this. He's the Judas goat. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Well, that's right. Well, you know what, that brother, the light skinned brother that we that he's in the forefront. Oh, and I noticed. Which, well, you know what? He was over that other guy, that your 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 clone, that other little fat troll nigga. But no, no. Meatball was supposed to be the head guy over him, but yeah. Johanna put this guy over the meatball because he knew it, because and the meatball see. might disappear. Yep. Because you can see. Well, first of all, in the spirit, you saw from day one that the light skinned brother was over meatball. Meatball couldn't have did the job that that brother did. As a matter of fact, that you should make him the top general, man. You should make him your say. He should be the <laughs> Second you, should you should be under him. You should you should be under him. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you'll learn something. Because he made y'all look good. Well he made Israel look good. Because he confounded polite. Now polite that but you couldn't even deal with that brother. Right? You can't even deal with that brother and you want to come mess with us. Just let it ring, let it ring. That's all. Man, not boasting. It's all through the spirit of Yahweh Shah. But polite, you came down, that's why you brought your ass down to thirty fourth and you dealt with us and that's why your ass never came back. Because you said, look, man, GMS, I'm not messing with them niggas no more. I don't want nothing to do with GMS. i clear GMS, man. Right. And then you went down, but then you couldn't even get past Johanna's group, man. And you want to mess with us? Hey, well, of all the groups, he said it, and I quote you, Polite, you said, 
you guys almost caused me to uh, uh, convert. And if it wasn't for the, the uh, Jonah, the uh, story of Jonah, according to you, that is, you, you would have converted. That's what you said. Yeah. You said of all the groups, you guys almost caused me to convert. And you're supposed to be this big, ardent skeptic. All right? So, and if it wasn't Sarnetta who, wasn't, who was trying to jerk you out of there, if we would have had you another hour, man, you would have seen what we're talking about through the spirit of your yeah, bunch. Yeah. Hey, hey, well, then the elder just spoken. Yeah, the elder just spoken. Because unless you were bullshitting when you said we, you, you were bullshit artists. And I, you know what? Even while I was making the statement, I believe that. I believe you, you just you think to, for the moment. All right? And that's why you said, you guys almost caused me to convert. So, yeah. Because yeah, so. he was getting cut. That's why he said it. You were getting cut. Yeah. yeah, yeah, polite. You nothing but a, you nothing but a, but a slick talking pimp, man. Bullshit artist. Yeah, bullshit artist. Slick He's talking bullshit pimp. Artist. Right. That's all you are, man. You know how to put those words together and mesmerize That's people. That's the chancellor. You know, but you don't understand that people, uh, uh, you know, the real, real men, the real men of the Lord are gonna go and research the bullshit you're putting out there. You know, and the more bullshit you put out there, the more stuff we go and and research, and the more we find out that it's more and more bullshit. You know. Because all them different stories that, that, that are out there in the papyri the uh, uh, the Egyptian papyri and the numeration and all that, basically those are all stories of creation because all nations had that story, you know? And what happened was all them stories that, that them nations put together, they had the original story from the beginning, and what they did was they put their own spin with their gods to it. So what the Lord did was when Moses came on the scene, the Lord showed Moses the real way to clean up all that garbage that them other nations put in their in their uh, in their uh, uh, creation stories and the other stories. So the Lord just caused Moses just to clean everything up and bring it out the way it actually happened. That's why the Bible starts off in the beginning. You know why? Because the Lord took Moses all the way back to the beginning of time and showed him how everything was created and set up in its proper order. You know, and that's why all the mother nations have similar stories. Why? Because the creation took place and they happened to write it down. And that's it. But if you read some of them stories, them stories are bugged out. Like they say, the, uh, I think among the Egyptians, they had uh, the, the Most High was supposed to be Atum. And that, that he was neither male nor female. Or, or he was half male or half female or something like that. And it's, it's like a whole series of, of, of mythological bullshit that's, uh, that's uh, comprised inside of uh, these so-called stories among these nations. And that had to happen to keep the word precious. That's right, that's right. Khan, you know, and, and, and what the Lord did was he came back and he gave Moses the right way and broke it down to him how it went down, you know. And it, clean, and it cleaned up and cleared up all that nonsense that, that, that was out there uh, uh, among these nations. You know, because that's what happens with these nations. You give them something that's pure, and what they're gonna do? They're gonna defile it. Yeah, we're gonna have a, a, in a, in a brief intermission. Shalom.